ladies and gentlemen i appreciate you for tuning in for those that may have been checking up on me i want to say sorry oh, thank you and i'm okay i'm back and i hope that you you are doing wonderful so guys okay this video is impromptu this video was not planned anyways so when i was doing the school series in ghana i will not lie that i was looking out to see if i can find wodemaya's ama mata so that i can bring it on here see this guy has inspired so many people apart from him being Ghanaian, which you know now nah, i like my people so when i was doing the school series i was looking out to see if i can find the secondary school that wodemaya attended but i couldn't find it like the whole of that period i just couldn't find the school uh, at some point i wanted to ask some people if they know the school that wodemaya attended but it escaped my mind so I let it slide so because i'm following mr ghana baby on instagram that is wode maya i saw a post that he made now let's quickly take a look at that post and i'll be back to talk about it <laughs> So yeah, the project is still ongoing. This is definitely one of the projects that I really want to get it done. The Watermeyer Sports Complex. It's actually a multi-purpose sports complex, which is going to have a basketball court, a volleyball court, um, what do you call it, a netball court, and a long tennis court. All of them in one sports complex. Yo, so what did Maya made that post about his ama mata and all that he's doing for his ama mata? And I'm like, which school is that? He did not mention it. I mean, what did Maya talk about your school? Call the name so that we can pay homage to your school because this guy have really empowered a lot of us i am sitting here today doing youtube is because of people like wodemaya wodemaya is one of those youtubers that inspired me right from the very beginning of this channel he inspired me and gave me the hope that i can do it i mean this guy is a is a role model if you are a real person if you are a realistic person you cannot help but love wodemaya i mean i'm talking about one of african biggest youtuber an african most influential youtuber i cannot say one of because i don't know another influential for me influence is about how many people's life you can impart i mean because this guy have really um used his you know his online presence here to empower a lot of young people and that makes him my number one influential youtuber in africa so i'm like okay so i went online to check and see the name of the school and see if i can find a video or two about the school and then i went and this was what i found let's go together <music> Double B Y. There are many times you feel not right, tossing and turning through the night. As that day goes by, you seem like you're searching in the dark. But when the darkness turns to light, all the troubles fade away to nothing. Honey, trust me, everything's gonna be okay. Oh, bana misha, no bala keda da odende. There are many times you feel not right, tossing and turning through the night. As the day goes by, seeming like you're searching in the dark. But when the darkness sends to light, all the troubles fade away to nothing. Honey, trust me, everything's gonna be okay. Oh, bana misha, no bala keda da odende.
in a spectacular show of knowledge and wit, Bumper Senior High School has managed to qualify for the nationals. Let me ask some of the students. I mean, how does it feel to qualify? Oh, yeah, we are very, very, very happy. Yeah. We are very happy to win this competition. Yeah. Was difficult? No, 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 no. They are very, very cheap. They are very cheap. Schools. They are very cheap. Schools. See, what about you? What do you think? Oh, best. This is the best competition I've ever seen. Just heard from some of the supporters from Bumper Senior High School. Well, for them, the Nationals is nowhere to be afraid. They are definitely going to be continuing their winning streak. Well, only time will definitely tell. We'll catch up with the contestants themselves and find out how they are going to prepare to make that dream a reality at the Nationals. Um, Anthony, how does he feel? Um, so marvelous. Marvelous, because I wasn't expecting to sail through. It's all by the grace of God. is not the only popular person that the school made the other people like um Quisi, Quisi felix i think he's an artist but i am here for whatever i am mr maya baby i am here for african number one most influential youtuber in person of woody maya this guy has really impacted lives good morning ladies and gentlemen i'm madame dorothy Quisi the new headmistress of Bumpers Senior High Technical School. I came to replace Mr. Lawe. I took over the administration of the school about two weeks ago, exactly on the 26th of July, 2022. I'm here as the head and I've come also to help to grow the school, to develop Bumpers and make it one of the best. I've been in the school for two weeks and as I'm speaking, we are in the third week. Still studying the environment, still studying the way things are organized in this new environment to enable me to put things together and align the things that we need to introduce in order to cause the development of the school. Particularly those who have benefited or gone through the system and I'm talking to old student Bosa to come on board to assist the administration to develop the school hello viewers as you can see this is a support from Odemaya to his alma mater bumper secondary technical school for the construction of an ultra modern sports complex yes so you can see except from it 
and I started writing tenses. <laughs> so uh, I decided to come here myself to find out what exactly is the money going to use for. And that's how I met uh, Mr. Inoke. Okay. Yeah, like, uh, when I was saying he was also here, not a student, but I think he was Teacher. doing his internship service that time. So I spoke to him and he was like, oh, they want to do a project, a multi-purpose um, sport complex. Mm -hmm. And I was like, is there any way I can also support? So I have influence on the internet. I think I've done lots of projects in different African countries. And why not do this for my school? So I'm not going to do everything by myself. I have an army. Mm -hmm. And the army is going to make sure that uh, we complete this project. I'm not that guy. I'm not the president of Ghana, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, you start a project and you don't finish, you want to make sure this project is done. So um, all I'm asking for is your support to get this project, bring it to life. So we're going to try all our possible best. So we're starting today, tomorrow is going to be an intensive kind of thing. Um, everyone's hands on to see where we can get to and then I will leave, come back till we finish the whole project. So that's why I'm here, and thank you so much for I mean, welcoming me back. So appreciate it. Thank you. So Wodemaya is building a sport complex for his school. This is amazing. I mean, single-handedly doing this for his alma mater. I will continue to talk about this positive things that I'm seeing in Ghana that I love, that I want the world to see. One thing that I have learned so much here is the Amamata spirit, the alumni giving back to Amamata thing that I am not conversant with. No one should blame me, okay? Maybe it's only my school that didn't do it, but I, it's not something I know like where people go all out to give back to their alma mater. Also, I mean, Wodemaya is successful and I'm wondering if you want to do YouTube and you are in Wodemaya school or you attended the same school with him, you can get this guy so easily. This is a man that people will pay any amount to see, any amount of money to collaborate with. So it means that if you are his colleague if you attended the same school you can easily find this man in one of the gatherings of your prize giving day the anniversary day and all that it's so amazing when i see people give back to their alma mater like i've always stated there is nothing to be ashamed of it's not something i'm conversant with i all through my stay in my school i never see anyone come back to give back so you see i'm talking about what i'm seeing in ghana that surprises me so yeah Wodemaya is giving back and at the comment section i see people asking they want to be part of it they want to give they want to join him to give back and they want to support him to do more for his alma mater which is really amazing but it's his choice to accept the offer that people are offering him and also his choice not to accept it and just basically do what he have and can afford to do for his alma mater i said let me bring this here because this guy has really inspired a lot of young people in africa and i would like to say thank you to his alma mater bombay senior high school takradi for giving us a gem for giving us an hero for giving us giving us a natural guy for giving us a guy that makes you see life through him even with nothing you can see because he has gone through the journey and he's not keeping anything to himself he shares it to empower other people and we are grateful and i hope that you enjoyed this video i will see you in my next one bye